All right, we're gonna continue from where we left off. So, we're gonna continue, and this is episode two, Turnabout Sisters. So we just finished the first case. If you wanna take a look, go ahead and click on the previous video. Now we're gonna start the next um, episode, and this is the day one investigation. So let's go. All right, so we just, he smelled blood, so we're gonna move into the office. Dang, ransacked. Oh, man, I always hate it when this happens. So in the previous episode, just to recap, um, a mysterious person in the office basically smacked Mia over the head with that um, statue, the thinker statue, and killed her. So now we just discovered her, and um, now we meet a uh, her sister, Mia's sister. It's interesting, I kind of wonder if when they killed her, if she was just like strategically placed against the wall like that, or if she just kind of died like that. Because you'd think if she was smacked, she would just be on the ground, like lying on the ground, not up against the wall. Alright, so time to examine the room. You can basically just use this and then when it lights up, you can examine certain objects in the room and Phoenix will, you know, take note of whatever's in there. And I guess it has a check mark if you already observed it. Oh man, that really sucks. What's weird is that he left it behind. You would think that he would have taken it with him, like taken the whole thing with him. Because it had what he was looking for inside, so, but he left it behind, so I'm kind of like wondering why. Huh. Let us see. And my written in blood on the scrap of paper. So typically, once you've observed everything, it's pretty much that. I mean, you can uh, like look at other stuff, but everything's pretty much all like situated here. Dang, it's so bright in here. Okay, I'm gonna go back. We're gonna move back to the main office area. <laughs> Surprise! Like, no, complete stranger coming in and finds my dead sister in the office. Why did she write your name on the receipt? Alright, so then you can talk to her. What happened? Yeah. It was crazy. She came in like, 
I think probably just a couple minutes because she was going to meet her at 9. That was like 3 minutes after she was killed. I find that kind of weird, like, that she came so late at night, you know, to go meet up with her. I mean, I get that she wanted to hold her to hold evidence for her, but it's heck of late to be giving it to her. The thinker saw it all. Wish the statue could talk. Be like, okay, so who murdered her? Alright, so, I think... I actually want to show her the note because it's weird. Like, yeah, by the way, this has your name on it. I have no idea. I don't even think she- there's no way she wrote that. Especially if she died recent- like, if she died instantly, she wouldn't have been able to write that anyways. Now you did it, Phoenix. You made her cry. Does it go back to the office? I don't know. It's like she wouldn't have wrote it anyways. Cause she, if she died instantly, it means someone's trying to frame her. I don't think she would write it herself. Cause that wouldn't make any sense. Call the police! Huh. I didn't want you. To use the phone. Oh, now what? Oh! Why, um, that's very pink hair. Heart Lady, okay. I'll just call you Heart Pinky Heart Lady. Okay, Pinky Heart Lady, let's call the police on us. Great. So. Well, that was quick. Yup. Police! Oh, hello. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. They all have really odd names, but it's interesting. Pinky Heart Lady says she saw the murder. <laughs> Don't move an inch at all. <laughs> I mean, breathing counts too. No. Does she look like she would kill anybody? Uh, it's like, um, that's my name. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't know that she wrote it. I don't think she'd even have, like, any... Um... Chance to write her name. Wow. Just jump in the gun. Oh man. Alright. We must find the dude that killed her. Yeah, it's crazy. You just jumped to conclusions. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Y yeah, of course I will. I'm gonna help you. Yes. Turn that frown upside down. Uh oh, 
Maybe I did say the wrong thing. Oh, I did? I can't even see my own face, so, um... <laughs> I know you didn't do it, so now I gotta figure out who did. What have you heard? Oh! Did she say good things about me? Sweet. Aw, oh, what? Yes! <laughs> One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. Eh, you can get experience later. I mean, look at what I'm trying to do. Three more years? Eh. They always want four years of experience. Oh, wow. She doubts my ability already. Aw, oh, man. It is true. I lack experience, but that's okay. This will give me more experience. Aw. It's okay. We'll figure this out. It's funny. I remember when I first saw this, I really wanted to cosplay as her. But then I, I couldn't figure out a way to like make her outfit or even have hair like her, so I just kind of didn't- I never got around to it. I probably could do if I tried hard enough. A spirit medium in training. The day of the crime. is shaped like the thinker. You know what's interesting is that she's younger than me and I could probably still pass as looking like her. Fancy technology? Oh yeah, I remember when I was in what was it middle school i got my first flip phone and that thing could record conversations i had with people so i'd record like you know conversations i had with my friends or whatever just to remember what we talked about it was pretty cool actually i don't think phones can do that anymore or maybe they can now that we have smartphones oh yeah she didn't have her cell phone with her see she has a cell phone. Okay. Cool. Conversation I have with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Cool. Wait, I thought I checked that already. Okay, well I guess I'll have to click it again. Huh, so you're an accolade. Or a medium in training. I almost feel like that'd be a little bit freaky, actually. Oh, so she could do that too? Oh, okay, that answers my question. That's pretty cool. Like, ESP? I don't know what ESP means, but okay. Yes, 
In training. Emphasis. In training. Can't you contact me a spirit then? That'd be the easiest way out. Oh my gosh. Then we would be like save all the trouble of investigation. Aw, it's okay, you'll be good. That's a high level. Ah, see? It's always too easy. They're never gonna let us have the easy way out. They're gonna make us do heck of hard stuff. Hmm. This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. What? And not call me? Actually, it was years ago, so she probably didn't even know me at that point. You think you could go ask him to represent me? I just- but I want to represent you. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to refuse her offer since she wants to ask me, so I'll just say, okay, sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. See, now she looks super happy. And then she looks super down when I said I was defending her, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, I'll contact this lawyer, and all of a sudden you're just like, woohoo! But it's understandable. That's a sore subject. Huh, <laughs> 10 a.m. The optimal time for all trials is gonna be 10 a.m. from now on. Oh, that's soon. Alright guys, this means we're going to have to investigate really quickly. What? If they need one by tomorrow and I'm standing right here... 4pm this afternoon. Alright, well... Did I miss something? Oh, no. This is different. <laughs> no, this is the same conversation. But I don't know why there's no check mark next to it. I'm practically qualified as a serial murderer by now. She was only, like, had she been there three minutes earlier, she would've been caught up in a big mess. That would've been bad. Okay, now it's all checked my- alright. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna move... to... Grossberg Law. Oh no. Well, hello, Orange Office. Let's see, there's a bear statue... Everything's so orange. Uh, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. I guess. Grossberg. Grossberg. Grossberg? Grossberg. If that doesn't sound like um any of those weird last names. Let's look at some stuff. Ooh, bear statue. They probably haven't. They probably just are there for, like, um, display purposes. Painting. It's very... orange. Of course not. Art's always expensive. A plant. I don't know about that, but... Ooh, what's this? An elegant ebony case. If not mistaken, that later's me. Yeah, that's a- that's a gold. Oh yeah, that's a gold... lighter. Huh, is there anything else to look at? Oh, desk. Mahogany desk. Mahogany everything. Alright. I think I looked at everything. No clues here. Yeah, it only um, glows yellow if it's 
clue worthy, which I think I covered everything. Well, all right then. Let's see. Move. I don't think, because there's no point in moving back to the um to the detention center. Whoa! No! No! Gosh, what did I just do? Okay. Alright, so he's not here. He's probably not going to be here. Okay, so let's go back to the detention center then. Nope! Rich lawyer's gone. Sorry. Aw, I have to go back? Okay, alright. Since, let's try again. In the five minutes it took, There's literally no one here. Alright, let's go back to the office then. Perfect. I like this office. It's bright and not too orange. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, but I work at this office. <laughs> you met me last night. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not the butts guy. <laughs> I don't even look like him. <laughs> Wrong name, Mr. Wright. He's not a killer. Detective Gumtree. So I should totally just irk him. Like, nah, I'm good. Let's just say I am. Just, just say it. I'm good. Alright. Yes, preferably. It'll help me. Thanks. Okay, so single blunt force trauma, death was instant. Yes, so if death was instantaneous and she couldn't have written anything. That's proof enough. Maybe that'll help me later. Miles Edgeworth. Huh. Do you know him? Uh. Sure. Of course I do. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean. I'm up against him. Wow, being a prosecutor at age 20? You know what I was at age 20? I was in college. The beginning of college. Starting out the college life. I mean, I can't imagine doing that at 20 years old. That's so young. Alright, well that's all the info about um, Edgeworth. Let's see here. If we move back to the dude's office, is he gonna finally be there? No! Alright, um, that totally didn't work. Alright. Sorry, it's gonna be a little bit of me wandering around here because I don't remember everything. It's been, like, 
maybe a couple years since I've played this, so I don't remember everything. Hmm. Let's see. Cordaline Stricta. It spoke to me. Okay. We'll figure out who murdered her. It's okay. Alright, so... Pinky Heart Lady screamed across from out the window that way, so... I mean, maybe we'll see her later, I guess. There's nothing else to talk to him about. So I assume I just go back here, maybe? I don't know what else to oh, there we go. Talk to you about your family. Uh huh. Huh. Yeah, possibly. That's what your mother. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. Incident. You know, I'm thinking of that dude standing in the corner. I imagine he must hear a ton of conversation all the time. He just has to stand there and look very either really tired or just professional because he's just standing there the whole time. Who's your mother's enemy? Huh. mother to try to contact the victim. We thought. It wasn't. It's never that easy. Come on. So he was innocent. Please consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. Of course someone has to tell the press. Wait. Like, the last name? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Alright. Gonna move elsewhere. Cause there's something else to talk to her about. So, I guess we go back to this dude's office. There is no one here. I'm literally gonna keep going back and forth to his office till someone shows up here. But I feel like I'm missing something. That's really weird. Okay, so usually in times like this, it either means I missed presenting something or I missed examining something, so I'm just gonna keep- I'm gonna wander about and see if I can try to figure something out. Oh! Maybe I should probably give this memo to, to Gumshoe. That's probably what I should do. Yeah, so let's present this to you. Right, I had to get her cell phone back. That's a cute phone. It's purple. It matches her outfit. It's like, can I have the phone back, please? Tell him not so straight. I just, I need it. <laughs> I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Okay, if he's bad at lying, so am I. It's the Steel Samurai, warrior of Ni 
Oh, <laughs> that action hero on TV. Oh, good call. Yeah. Cool, he bought it. Sweet. I'm gonna take the phone back now. Sweet. Yay for lying. I suck at lying. Good thing he's good at it. Thinking on your feet. Check this Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, too late. I kind of already did. I didn't really influence her per se. She actually kind of, you know, didn't believe in me when I wanted to help her. Oh! Oh, wait. Not that win- oh, Gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay, he meant pinky heart lady. As in, don't talk to her? Okay, well... Right, I'm dumb. Miss... April May? I like the nickname Pinky Heart Lady better, so I'm just gonna call her Pinky Heart Lady from now on. Gosh, April May. Alright. <laughs> Miss May. I mean, even if he did send her home, I wouldn't know where she is, except for the fact that she's- oh. Thanks for telling me that. <laughs> Alright, time to go see Pinky Heart Lady. Alright, let's go. Um, I'll check this too really quickly as well. Even though I already know. Oh, that's cool. It's all typed out here. Alright, so that's that conversation. Um... Oops, nope, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Alright, we're gonna go and see Pinky Heart Lady now. Ooh, has a random screwdriver sticking out of a drawer. That's bothering me. Totally wanna just like jam that back into the drawer. Okay. Pinky Heart Lady? Oh my gosh, she reminds me of um like a little kitty. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> I'd probably react the same way too. Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. Oh, tee hee. <laughs> I'm trying to picture a nice voice for her, and I'm just thinking. I don't know, something high. <laughs> I haven't looked the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Pinky Heart Lady is gonna go fresh enough for that. <laughs> I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. It's gonna be you. Pinky Heart Lady has eye twitch now. Okay, no touchy the screwdriver then. I don't think I want to see what you look like when you're upset. I wonder what she actually acts like. Okay, you came back from freshening up very quickly. Um, let's examine everything else then. Someone's staying with Pinky Heart Lady. So she can see it right across from her hotel room.
bed. Nope. Okay, let's try to look at that. Oh, look, a picture of something. It's, it's kind of still life. Yeah. If you put real flowers in the hotel room, maybe it's too big of a pain in the butt to have to change them out. Alright. Okay, so she really doesn't want me looking at that. Okay. So. Pinky heart lady. A lawyer, actually. <laughs> I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> Kurt, um, use that as like a pickup line. Like, you have a very big vocabulary, you know that? <laughs> you know that the thing that occurred um, happened the other day, that bad thing? Okay. <laughs> Change your vocabulary. Oh. Oh. Oh boy, indeed. Okay, Pinky Heart Lady, tell me about yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> But really now, it's like, if, when you're hitting on someone now, it means that you're asking someone <laughs> who they are that's hitting on someone now. <laughs> no! Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, she's not gonna answer anything. Oh, were you here with someone? I don't have to tell you anything. Oh, now I'm a detective now. I'm a lawyer and a detective. Isn't it great? Oh. I feel like that's like sort of low-key trying to be like super passive-aggressive like let's go look for clues in the garbage oh yeah she's being totally mean oh boy yeah that's really all I can say this one's a piece of work all right fine pinky heart lady you're not gonna tell me anything I'll just move somewhere else then all right let's go back to Hmm, I don't want to keep going over here because I feel like no one's going to tell me anything. I don't think there's anything else to talk to her about. She won't tell me anything. Alright, let's go back to the detention center. Nope, she's going to be still super sad. Actually, wait. Let's go back here. Sweet. He's still gone. Sure, okay, let's wait here. Ahem. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> His mustache twitches up and down. <laughs> he looks even grander than I imagined. That badge on your collar. Yes, I am a lawyer. Yes. He's off doing something. Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Marvin Grossberg. Out with it. Oh, that struck a chord.
That was a strange reaction. At least you're listening to me now. Okay. Yeah, how did you know that? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, please. I'm busy, you see. Yeah, exactly. She trusted you. Watch someone's blackmailing him or something and being like, oh yeah, you can't help her. If you help her, we'll like kill you or something. Or ruin your reputation. It's always something like that. No lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Yeah, why? He's being blackmailed. Yeah, he's being blackmailed. He can't say anything. I'm still gonna ask you questions, dude. Ah! I see. Yeah, what's with that painting, dude? You noticed? It's my pride and joy. Huh, <laughs> impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea. The weave of the straw hat. Holy cow, really? <laughs> Three million? Dang. I can't afford that. Gosh. Well, um, leave you with your three million painting. Three million dollar painting. I want three million dollars. Alright, well I'm gonna have to go deliver bad news to her then. That sucks. 342. Still before the cutoff time. Hiya. Well. Oh, uh, yeah. I really don't think you should use that guy. Yeah, he's expensive. And has a three million dollar painting. He didn't seem healthy. He w <laughs> wow, that's such a lie. She can tell you're lying. Aww. It's okay. Nope, because I'm gonna help you. Well, that was the fastest, uh, 20 minutes. A little less than 20 minutes. Dang. No! You're gonna defend her. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. I can't abandon you. Exactly! Flashback. Exactly! Yes. Yeah, believe in me, it's okay. I got this.
Sweet. I got this. There we go. That's right. I will actually say that, um... What's crazy? Oh, actually, before I finish that thought, oh. A screwdriver? I guess she used it to prop it open or something? But she's not letting anyone look at it, so I'm really curious as to what's in there. I don't remember what's in there. I also want to mention that there is that life bar up in the upper right corner whenever you do core trials. And if that thing runs out, it means that uh, you run out of chances and you failed the trial. So I don't want that to happen. Um, I'm going to try my best not to have it run out. But some of it can get pretty difficult. Yeah, Pinky Heart Lady's hiding, hiding something. So, um... Yeah. We got this. So I'm gonna save right before this. Alright, so that's that. Alright, we're gonna move... to... Hmm. That's a good question on where to move to. Bank of Law Offices? There we go. So he's gone home. Alright. So... So if I move back here, she won't be there anymore? No, she'll still be there. Alright, um... I don't recall where I'm supposed to go, so... I assume I can't talk to her about anything. Oh! Oh, hello. Okay. Hello, fancy bell boy. Pinky heart lady. Oh, okay. She's in the bathroom. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> Perfect. All right, we're gonna we're gonna look in that drawer. No, it's fine. Yes. Oh, hello. He 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 knows something. Mr. White. Oh, okay. Of Blue Corp phone. I like how he just trusts me. Like, I could be some malicious person after her and he just completely lets me in. That's normal. You're not imagining things. Oh, yes. I don't think I've ever met anyone with the last name White. And I encounter customers all the time. I don't recall anyone with that last name. Which is interesting. No, it's not because it's not a common last name. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm gonna look at this. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh. A wiretap. So that's what she was hiding. Pinky Heart Lady's hiding a wiretap. All right. Cool. Now let's 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 jet before she completely finds out that we took it. We gotta go. Yeah, um, we should probably go before she completely... Yeah, let's go. Yeah, get your butt out of there, sir. Alright, to be continued. Alright, I think I'm going to... Yes, I'm gonna save. Right here. Alright. Day 2 trial is the next one. I'm thinking... Should I keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. 
All right, 10 a.m. Courtroom number one. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. It's Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. It's okay. Oh yeah? They have evidence? You have Pinky Heart Lady? Pinky Heart Lady's hiding something though. I was in court. Yeah, you hear you hear the witness like after they go under oath to tell the truth, they state their name and profession. It's pretty cool. Floor map. I thought this music was cool. Okay. Okay. The murder scene in the Fay and co law offices floor plans. Okay. Looks so menacing. Like, I'm gonna kill you. What are the evidence? Oh, you mean the paper slip? Alright. Witness testimony time. Let's go. Miss Maya Fay and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Okay. That's the thing, I couldn't either. I was looking into it. When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Witness always slips up and says something wrong. Good advice. Gotcha. So yeah, typically if I don't see any um, lying or contradictions, yeah, I just press everything. It's a long process, but you find the lie in there somewhere. Okay, so the call came from Pinky Heart Lady. Okay. Oh, actually, I should probably press that too.
That is really fast. Three minutes? No way. No. I don't think I don't I don't think it's possible unless they're literally right across the street. There's no way you can make it there in three minutes. table dramatically. <laughs> so basically people wearing that are immediately suspicious? Thanks. I mean, I guess, but I, I press everything anyways. Yeah? How was she described? Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's just like, you said it. Yeah, Pinky Heart Lady could've been lying, you know. Oh, she... she's Pinky Heart Lady. Yeah, it does have his advantages. What? Oh, that was an awkward leg. <laughs> you got it mixed up. chance to fix their testimony. No, remember what I said before. Remember, I said in the autopsy report, she died instant. It was instantaneous. That's not possible. You're not looking at the autopsy report, dude. Yeah, why? <laughs> Just make it specific the first time. Hurting your credibility, sir. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, so... Alright, so we know that he examined the scene. He found the memo. And on it, Maya's written. That's the fact. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's, which is obvious. Okay, I'm just... No. Yeah, no. I'm not falling for it. Okay, I'll toss your report. Do your business. Objection! Thank you. Uh oh. Somebody else. Death due to blow from a blunt object. Ha! No, no butt in your way out of this one. The day after the murder. 
Yeah, the day after. What are you talking about? Why? Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. No, because if she was killed at 8.57, and if she lived for several minutes, and then Maya um, got there at 9, she would still be alive then. Darn, she had to have a short name, too. Oh man, this is a problem. Huh. Yeah, let's insult you. <laughs> He cares. Yeah, it's just like, nah, you can yell at me, whatever. This isn't good. Oh boy, pinky heart lady. Let's go. She's not innocent. <laughs> like they have her her happy uh, background music playing in the courtroom. Pinky heart lady. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, this is but during most majority of the game, you only see people's like torso and up, so you never fully see their outfit. So now I saw her full outfit. Pinky heart lady. Mini skirt. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not good. Oh boy. <laughs> Except for him, he's just like unamused. All right. Pinky Heart Lady, let's hear your testimony. Mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman like dodged to one side and ran away. And the woman with the long hair kind of slumped. Bitsy witsy, okay. <laughs> it's a remarkably solid testimony. <laughs> we'll just um we'll just not take your cross examination into consideration, you know, just cause she's pink.
Yes, I'm doing it. She's lying somewhere, I just have to figure it out. Alright, let's expose Pinky Heart Lady. Yeah. Yeah, I say go for it. Oh. Oh, look at- Oh, I struck a chord there. Her face completely just changed. Oh, I can badger her all I want. Wow, just because she has a pretty face. <laughs> Slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. She's pretty. right there. You see that? Oh yeah, nah, no. That's not certain at all. <laughs> Short girlish figure. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, I know, but like, I don't know what else to... I don't know if I should just question this tes testimony, or... Because how could she have seen? Is my question. Wait. Let me look at something for a second. Can see that much. So she could see... That'd be her range of vision. Huh. Okay. <sighs> I think I'll just go with... This is hard. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot with this, with this or not, but let's just say, yeah, first right, he's right. I can press later, so. Okay. Lying somewhere here. Can you imagine keeping your hands up like that all the time? I can't imagine doing that. Lying. Ooh, I struck a chord there. <laughs> about this, not clues about other things.
Ooh, there we go. She she's cracking, I can see it. Oh yeah, she was. Did she just go roar? Huh. Revise your testimony. Oh boy. I know, I was so close that she was about to crack. You can see it in her face. Ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon I saw. It. I did. That, that clock, um, that kind of statue clock? How the thinker, I think? Okay, there's something off about it. Okay. So, that much is true. The victim, the woman, dodged the first time. Yeah, I'm questioning that. Oh, okay. Even she sounds uncertain. What you at me? Oh, yeah, lies. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's that much is true. Okay, so I have an issue with this part. If you take a look at this, this is her view. She would not even have been able to see that. Is what I'm thinking. Like, alright, we're gonna present this. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. Ooh, strike number one for me. Oh boy, that's a problem. So this is this is bad. She's lying somewhere. I just can't quite figure out where she's lying. Huh. Stumped right now. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. Oh, that is weird, too. The broken remains of a glass light stand broken beyond all recognition. Okay. 
Okay, I'm a little stumped right now. Huh. Yeah, okay. She's lying. It's probably gonna... It's, it's making me a bit... I don't remember exactly, which is my problem. Like... Huh. Um, let's see. Yeah, this came up in testimony before. What if I present the clock? Would that do anything? Ooh! She knew about it! Yeah, how would she know? From that distance, you wouldn't even know what it was. Ooh, gotcha. Yes. Kinda wonder if anyone's cosplayed as her. That'd be pretty interesting to know. Ooh, she's about to crack, I can see it. Okay guys, we got this. Answer my question, Pinky Heart Lady. How'd you know that? You could not have heard it from that distance. Oh, you did, huh? Not that close. <laughs> You're telling me if she had her window open. No. That's just ridiculous. Oh wait, it, it didn't ring be Oh, I know! Duh, because... Okay, if you look in here, where is it? Is it in here? Sweet, I have it. It's right here. Yeah, she didn't- she didn't- yes, I have the evidence. I couldn't have wrong, guys. Clockwork. Yeah, look inside it. There's nothing in there. Sweet. Okay, so he did take the papers with him. He just left the statue. She's about to totally flip out. I like how it's like big fat liar and she totally just emphasizes on the word fat. Like, I think it's a bit of a problem. You're lying.
No. Uh-uh. Yes, I can, actually. I can prove it. Watch, Edgeworth. I got you. Thank you. He's like, what? Cell phone. Yes! I just realized that, yes. Now both are in police custody. No, not everything. She cracked. Huh. <laughs> His face. Right now, <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Does the fence have an opinion on this behavior? You had heard about it. I kind of wonder if she... she must... I'm surprised she's not freaking out the fact that the wiretap has gone from her room. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard that the murder weapon was a clock. This, my friend. Where did you get that? Oh, no wonder why her office phone was all weirded out. She was tapping into it. Sweet. Clock on the phone? Oh boy. Was it in here? Oh yeah, it's like right here. Right there. Oh, she tapped into her cell phone. Duh, okay. Wow, her face just changes. She's like changing. Shifting. Wait, I like how her hands are up, yet yeah, when she was mad, her hands were down. Wow, she's kind of scary. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Why'd you use a wiretap? Or I could just pressure her, I don't know. Why- why'd you use the wiretap? Hmm. She's just gonna deny it. I feel like I should ask why the wiretap.
Oh no. Gee, okay. be a problem. I don't know, tapping at the same time. decisions like this. Um. Ooh, this is a problem. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Alright, so. Huh, I'm thinking if I continue examining her, she's just gonna deny everything I'm accusing her of. So I'm thinking... Maybe... Oops, I'm sorry. Um, I'm thinking to call the bellboy as a witness. That actually might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, might as well just accept the condition. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I'm not panicking at all. Oh no. I assume that they wouldn't have added this if there's something there isn't something fishy about him. I just called him in the middle of work and he's carrying tea and cookies. I just let him carry it throughout his whole testimony. Okay.
saw who. No, he's... You know the tea. <laughs> Cause she wanted to be busy at that time. Bracer. Oh. Oh, and oh, okay, got it. Cause she's weird. Ask us one question. Oh no. Oh man. Oh my goodness, I hate decisions like this. Okay, so I think. Thinking back, what would I ask him about? Bed making, room service, check in. Huh. Maybe room service, I'm thinking? It's the one that seems to make most sense. Oh gosh. Dollars for co oh. Objection. No, he said it. He said it. Had 
bathroom under the bus. Can't lie in court. Yeah, let's find the second person. She tapped the phone, so she's already committed herself a cr committed a crime anyways. Yeah, let's go find the man that was with her. Ha! Upstart amateur. Okay, so they're adjourning court for now, which usually means that before the second trial, we have to investigate more. Alright, so I think I'm going to stop here, and then we'll continue on to the second part of the trial in the next episode, and I'll finish it. It's getting a bit long, so I'm going to save here. It's been a good run through, that was a good trial, I think. Um, we're definitely closer to proving her innocent. Um, but um, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll definitely continue the next part, and we'll see what happens. Alright, see you guys in the next episode.